All right, guys. We covered a lot of shoulder stuff this week, and some of you guys asked me for, for some more unique stuff, some different stuff that you can do with your team, stuff that they haven't seen before, stuff to keep the shoulder stuff that can be somewhat boring a little bit more interesting. And while I agree that it can be boring, it's really important, so it needs to be done. But I'm not going to let you guys down. I've got some, some creative shoulder stuff for you. First thing that you're going to need is a stability ball. Now, on a stability ball, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to kneel behind the ball, put one hand on the ball, the other hand straight behind your back. And all we're going to do is little circles clockwise and counterclockwise with the ball. Slowly roll the ball out a little bit farther from your body while you do this drill. The farther out you move the ball, the more your body weight goes on the ball, the more shoulder strength and stability you're working. Okay, once you're good with clockwise and counterclockwise, you can begin to do figure eights with the ball. Just a little variety, something a little bit different that you can do to develop your shoulder strength and stability. Now the next thing that we're gonna do, we've got a couple different versions of this drill, one with the, with the stability ball and one with the weight plate. The stability ball gives you more range of motion, the weight plate gives you a little bit less range of motion, but it also develops strength along the way. We call them bus drivers. You're gonna hold the ball out in front of you, rotate it as far over as you can. Now what we're doing here, as you rotate all the way over, you're also getting a stretch through your obliques, through, through the side of your core, which if you think about the throwing motion, when you finish, that muscle, those muscle groups need to be loose and stretched as well. So it's real good for the final part of your throwing mechanics. And put that all into play, the more range of motion you have at the end of your throw, after you release the ball, the more explosion you can have through the middle because you know you don't have to slam on the brakes quite as early after your release point. Okay, now we're gonna get this ball out of the way for a minute. And pull the weight plate out. Now we're gonna do bus drivers with the weight plate. Gonna hold it straight out in front, rotate all the way over and all the way back. Again, working through internal and external rotation but now we're holding 15, 20, 25 pounds in your hands, the heavier the weight, the more shoulder strength is gonna be involved. So there you go, there's two real quick ways that you can keep it interesting, mix it up a little bit, so you guys don't get terribly bored with their shoulder training. It's Coach Dan from Baseball Strength, signing off.